Okay, so in this video, we will consider a short example of cryptography. So we consider the encoder matrix, 1, negative 1, 1, 2, so a 2 by 2 encoder matrix, and we have to decode the following message and find the name of a female singer that I love. Hmm. Intriguing. Well, let's figure this out. To decode, and we are told that this message is encoded because we have to decode it, well to decode the message we need the inverse of the encoder matrix. So let's find the inverse. As is a 2 by 2 matrix, the inverse is really easy to find. So 1 over AD minus BC, 1 minus negative 1 is 2, so it's 1 half, times, we flip the diagonal entries, so 1, 1, 1, 1, and we negate the other two entries, so we'll get negative 1, 1. So now we have the inverse of the encoded, uh, the encoder matrix, and so we'll decode the message using our inverse matrix. So 1 half, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, times our message. Well, because we have a 2 by 2 matrix, we have to rewrite our encoded message into a column, uh, into a matrix, sorry, where the columns have length 2. So first, negative 3, 15. Second column, 1, 29. Third column, 0, 2. Fourth column, 0, 32. For, uh, fifth column, sorry, 7 and 17. Okay, so let's perform this multiplication. Let's leave the 1 half in front for now. Let's multiply our two matrices and then we'll multiply every entry of our matrix by 1 half. So first row, we'll do first entry plus second entry, so this will be quite easy. So negative 3 plus 15 is 12. 1 plus 29, 30. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 32, 32. 7 plus 17, 24. Let's construct row 2 now. 3 plus 15, 18. Negative 1 plus 29, 28. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 32, 32. Negative 7 plus 17, positive 10. We now must multiply every entry by 1 half. This is quite easy. So first row becomes 6, 15, 1, 16, 12. Second row becomes 9, 14, 1, 16, and 5. So now we have the decoded matrix. Let's rewrite this into a string of characters, right? This was the encoded message. And now we'll have the decoded message. Well, the first column becomes the first string of two characters, so 6, 9. The second column, the second string, 15, 14. Third column, third string, 1, 1. Fourth column, fourth string, 16, 16. And fifth column, fifth string, 12, 5. And now we have the decoded message. All that remains is to translate back from the numerical message into the letter message. So let's translate. Number 6, letter F. 
number 9, letter I, number 15, letter O, number 14, letter N, number 1, obviously A, number 1, A again, number 16, twice, P, P, number 12, L, and number E, 5. Well, <laughs> sorry, I kind of cheated there. Number 5, <laughs> letter E. And now we have our decoded message, and if we look at this, even though there are no spaces, we can look at the first part, Fiona Apple. Fiona Apple. So if you don't know about her, you can look her up on YouTube. Now one last little comment, as you can see that since we're not including an empty space as one of our characters, maybe we could add an empty space for the number 27, then we have to figure out where the break is between the different words. Now, Obviously in real life, if you would encode much longer messages, you would need to enter as an extra character an empty space so as to make the reading of the decoded message simpler. And that's it.